Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to a new craft space. This is down in my basement and my husband has cleared me off one of his workbenches. He's still got a bunch of stuff at the corner there that needs dealing with. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and use this for my jelly print printing. And I just wanted to show you, I finally got out my larger one. This particular one is uh, eight by 10. That's an eight by 10. Look how clear it is as opposed to this one, which I have been using. So that's my five by seven. This is my eight by 10. Um, I'm not going to try and hold this. I have no camera mount down here at this point, so I'm not even sure how much of this I will share with you guys, but I'm gonna play for a little bit and we'll see what happens. So as per usual, I have more than one project on my desk. I did want to show you how I'm storing my jelly plates. Um, I have a, this is the five by seven is in here and the eight by 10 is in here. And then down in here are all my brayer sheets and um, all sorts of, you know, stencils, my dry cloths, uh, my wet wipes, all of that sort of stuff is in there. Um, just stuff. So the reason I have these up here in my craft room rather than down in the cellar is that it's a very wet cellar and I don't want to, I don't want to ruin them. So I guess I'm going to store these up here. I left everything else downstairs on the table and I will flip my camera around and show you what I did yesterday. Okay, so here are some of the things that I did yesterday. Let me grab a piece of white to put down underneath so you can see a little bit better for some of these. This was just, uh, this was a stencil that I did over a stencil. Um, it was an old piece that I had done and I just thought, well, let's just see. And I was just kind of cleaning off my plate with it, but I liked how that came out. This was a piece of wet strength tissue that I did with a stencil and I like how that came out. This is another piece I did with wet strength tissue and this one came out a little bit blurrier. Um, it didn't quite pick up as much as I hoped it would, but I do like the color of that one. This is a just a sheet that I've been using for, just to clean off my plate with, but I'm kind of liking how the colors came out on that. Okay, this one and this one and this one were just uh, clean off sheets. This one was one again that I tried, it actually was the other half of this one. I had put the two, I'm probably completely off camera here, let me pull this down some. Um, I had put this on my eight and a half by 11 and then I put the two sheets on it because I didn't have uh, big sheets yet of a cut of this, so I will cut some big sheets for that. Okay, and then I got to the actual pieces that I was pulling off. So I did this. This was a back of a sheet that I had tried that was a coffee dyed paper, and um, I do like how that came out. I do like how that now that is a salmon color, and pay attention to that because salmon is one of the colors for the. Uh, Makers of Mixed Art, no, I'm going to get that title wrong. I'll put it down in the links in the description box. Um, anyway, it's a group that I'm with and they do a color combo every month. And the colors this month are Salmon, uh, shoot, Salmon, Burnt Orange, and Lemon Yellow. So that was the Salmon that I was playing with. This is not part of the challenge. This was just part of me playing around with the teal because I like teal and I want, it was a brand new bottle and I wanted to see what it looked like. This was the salmon that I made. I, I used uh, two different color pinks in order to try and get a salmon color. I kind of like how that came out. This was supposed to be salmon over, uh, I put the salmon down and then I did burnt orange over the top of it. And you can see that there's a lot of, of this speckling. That's because I did not treat my eight by 10 plate before I did anything with it. So it still had all the natural oils on it that, it that preserve it in shipping and all of that. 
I know that there is a way to clean those off. I thought, what the heck? I'm just playing today. Let's just see what happens. I don't care if it speckles. And I thought that was actually kind of cool. And then the last print, this one I had realized, I, I put my lighter color and then my darker color. I realized I have to reverse that. So I put my darker color and then my lighter color. And I like how it came out much better. So that was my burnt, <clears throat> sorry, burnt orange over lemon yellow. Although the lemon yellow is still a little bit bright. So I think I'm going to have to be playing around with those colors a little bit more this month. All right. So that was my jelly printing escapade. Um, I'm not going to do anything with those right now. I'm going because I'm moving on to my next project. Um, I will be back on Monday with a brand new Let's Play video. This was just kind of a report on my moving my jelly plate. As far as, as using the basement, I thought it worked really well. It just, it's, first of all, it's very, very wet down there, unfortunately. Um, we have a leak in the foundation at one point, at one spot in the, in the basement. And so um, there were, there was some mud, let's shall we say, over in one corner of the basement that had come in. And it's not going to get taken out anytime soon. Uh, we're supposed to get Debbie up here on Friday. And so I'm not even going to attempt to fix it. We're not even going to do anything with it until after Debbie has come through and flooded us out again, and then we'll deal with it. But it's not like there's standing water or anything like that. It's just a, a damp spot. So we're just going to have to deal with it and, you know, the joys of home ownership. But it made it very, very uh, wet down there. That's why I'm not keeping any of my papers down there. I'm not going to keep the jelly plates down there. Um, obviously, the tiles and the paints and that sort of thing can stay down there just fine. And uh, we'll see how it goes. This is an experiment. I'd like, I'm hoping I can make this particular spot work for my jelly printing. If it does, then I will put a camera mount down there and we will start playing. In the meantime, if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. And click the bell if you want a notification as to when the next video comes out. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.